popularised by Funny Game, travel style levels intrigue a lot of people due to their extremely long length and often themed decoration, as well as help to mainstream standard XL levels in general. Not being the traditional length of travel levels, Gem Attack's Starlit Realm and Simplest Disco maintain the aspects of what make travel levels great while selling their own distinct style. Jam's recent level, Jam Factory, achieves the same thing as these two, except to a much higher standard. Naturally, the theming is my favourite aspect of Jam Factory, which is centred around, well, a Jam Factory. Jam Attack takes advantage of a creative imagination and an XL length to showcase a bizarre factory crammed full of interesting ideas. Jam's colour choices here help to define different areas of the factory, with blues and greys being more office-like, and the red focusing on anything to do with Jam itself. The red sections of Jam Factory are by far my favourite parts. Most sections are directly related to the production of Jam, and some are really creative. Take this beehive, my favourite part of the level. The structuring and all the details present in this section immediately resemble a traditional beehive. However, the red colour scheme and the fact that it's part of an industrial factory is kind of absurd to me. The hexagonal honeycomb type designs and Jam Bees him, uh, the Jam Bees themselves makes this part stand out great, and similar theming makes other sections great as well, like the Red Sea of Jam at 70% and the See the Taste Jam Vision 3D Registered Trademark Duel. The grey office sections contrast the bright high energy red sections with generally lower energy and much colder colours. These sections feature a lot more art assets, which is a nice touch, as well as ominous messages, glitchy effects and a painting of a creepy guy. I find this section to have quite a dark undertone, but these features I mentioned could easily be due to the neurotic jamberry buses that are just kept in the office. Why anyone would keep toxic berries in the office is anyone's guess really, but I think my take here would be a nice bit of lore if intentional. What I really like about the decoration progression of Jam Factory in general though, is the contrast between these two colour palettes, which keeps the level visually fresh and interesting. The visual differences between the red and grey would usually cause a harsh clash However, the consistent style and lily in nature of the theme effectively maintains cohesion. I think the way Jam structured the decoration and the theming was ingenious, and it really made me fall in love with the quirky factory that he created. An interesting theme would not hold its own without good decoration to back it up, and this is where Jam Attack goes all out. Jam style shines through in painting the factory's aesthetic, everything from the modern light structure designs or the wonderfully consistent colour choices that give them texture and the background's depth. Every section is densely decorated and suitably colourful, especially the red sections, and are made incredibly dynamic through varied move trigger usage, and most notably for me, the gameplay. Jam's gameplay is phenomenal here. Despite being an XL demon, the entire level plays consistently and is well balanced, with every section having good sync and matching the song's tempo well too. What elevates this from a good level to a great one are the more unconventional sequences that are featured, like this spider, this UFO, and the dual section. They aren't anything groundbreaking really, but they keep the player alert and definitely make for a more engaging contrast to a generally more linear layout. I always try to find negative aspects with levels in my analyses, but honestly it's difficult to find a lot wrong with Jam Factory. I think Jam Attack did excellent with the presentation of this level, from careful balancing of quality details and theming, to clear parallels between colour palette swaps, all the while driving home a distinct modern style. From his relatively small selection of levels, Jamatek's XL projects are definitely the ones that stand tall, and as a result, I eagerly anticipate what he comes up with next.